Hey kiddos, and welcome to our very first Kingdom Kids Corner. Church is going to look a little bit different for the next week or so. We're going to be having stuff online for you instead of actually meeting at our building. But that's okay, because this means that parents get to be at church with us. And lots of times they don't get to do that because they're out of service. So, is everybody ready to hear what Jesus has for us today? Let me see. Clap your hands three times if you're ready. One, two, three. Great job. Okay, so today we are going to talk more about the life of Jesus. Last time that you were at church, Miss Christie taught you about how Jesus calmed the storm. And today we're going to learn how Jesus heals the sick. Isn't that awesome that Jesus can heal the sick? Jesus can heal you if you have a cold, he can heal a boo-boo, he can heal a broken heart, he can heal our land. That's what the Bible tells us. And our lesson comes out of Luke 5. So Jesus was in a town and he was at somebody's house and he was preaching. And just like what always happens when Jesus starts to talk and preach, a crowd started to gather and the house was filling up with people. I mean, they were packed in there like sardines. They were squished in tight. And there was no more room. The house was filled with people and Jesus was teaching and preaching and talking about love and the amazing things that he was going to do. And a group of men came by and they were carrying a large mat. And on that mat was their friend. And their friend couldn't walk. He had to be carried everywhere and they knew if they could just get him to see Jesus that Jesus could heal him now the men they really loved their friend like he was their BFF he was their best friend and they really wanted Jesus to touch him and to heal him but they couldn't get in because the room the house was all packed out there was no more room everybody was squished in can you squish in really tight with mom and dad squish in squish 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 yes they were squished in just like that and what happened was they had to come up with another way to get their friend to see Jesus. So they were thinking, everybody thinking? Let's do this, say thinking. All right, so they were thinking, how can we get our friend to see Jesus? And they came up with this idea. They were gonna take their friend who couldn't walk, they were gonna carry him up to the roof. And in those times, the roofs weren't made like roofs like our house. Our roofs are hard and you can stomp on them and they won't fall through. Well, their roofs were made of something that's similar to like straw. And so they, they ripped a hole in the roof and they lowered their friend down on the mat, lowered him right down in front of Jesus. Now, you remember how I told you that these guys, they loved their friend, the one that couldn't walk, the paralyzed man? They loved him a bunch. Well, do you know that Jesus loved that man even more than their friends did? And when they saw that the, when Jesus saw how much the friends loved him and, you know, his, his love for, for the paralyzed man was, was even greater. And Jesus said, your sins are forgiven. Now, I mean, I'm sure that surprised the the people, but nonetheless, Jesus said, your sins are forgiven. And you know what he said next? This is so awesome. He told that man laying there on the mat, the one that couldn't walk, the one that just got lower down through the roof. He told that man, rise up, get your mat and go home, walk away. And you know what that man did? He got up and he walked away because Jesus healed him. Not only healed his legs so that he could walk, but healed his heart too. Forgave his sins so that he could be one with the Lord and go to heaven someday. All right, remember at the beginning of the video I said that Jesus can heal our hearts and Jesus can heal our bodies and Jesus can heal our land. And that's exactly what happened in this story that we read today out of Luke 5, that Jesus was able to heal this man. And he got up and he walked away and his sins were forgiven. It's important for us to remember that even now today that Jesus heals. With all this crazy going on with all the sick, this virus, this coronavirus thing going around and everybody's at home and there's no school and things are weird and different, I want you to remember that Jesus heals. Not only did he heal back in the times of the Bible, but he heals today right now in your life and in my life. Jesus is the same and he never changes. 
That's all I have for you today. Um, make sure that you parents check out the links that are provided below. There's some activities and some crafts and some um, bits and pieces of things that you guys might enjoy doing as a family. And if you get a chance, if you make the crafts or if you do something really cool, take a selfie, take a picture and, and post it on our, our Facebook page so I can see what you're doing. That's all I have guys. Keep practicing your memory verse. Keep being great helpers to mom and dad. I love you guys and I will see you next time. Bye.